the pain and suffering was worth the sea that you were so in. And a sweet hallelujah fell from your lips. Whatever the cost, Lord, whatever the risk, your words like a fragrance filled up the air. And heaven is raining down blessings because of your prayers. Because of your prayers. Welcome. To another Thursday's thought. <laughs> I do pray everyone is doing well, being safe and using wisdom, but also trusting in God and not fearing anything but the Lord. Um, who the world that we live in, I'm sure everybody is dealing with um, a plethora of care, concern, and different challenges that you may even look at it and say, I, I can't handle this. And that that is actually a great thing because our God specializes in the impossible. And he doesn't cause things, but he allows things for our good and his praise, honor, and glory. Mm, and like right now, I'm allowing that because you're so much fun. I need you to lay down. Thank you, buddy. Stay. But um, what I would like to talk about today, if I'm allowed, is, oh, that's what, mm, he's playing his part, because food is essential. Um, and what I want to talk about with everything going on, uh, we see many jobs that People, you know, you, you work fast food, oh, you're a clerk at the grocery store, Walmart, you stock shelves, you work in a warehouse, you do all these things, you work in shipping. Um, they were looked over for the longest time. Uh, even with my current part-time position um, in, let me think of a professional terminology, I am a fit, a... Fitness hygienic specialist, um, and that is considered essential now, Buck. Mm. That is essential now um, due to everything that's going on. We see that a lot of things we have taken for granted, like I said, the, uh, the fast food services, restaurants in general, um, those cleaning, mail, just everything, shipping that a lot of us have taken for granted, didn't see as that vital as an important part of our um, our lives, we realized how important and what a major part these things that we, we think are small, how big they are and how, how much they play in our lives. Um, that being said, just wondering, do you see yourself as essential? Do you see what you have to offer, what, what you can bring to life and other people who are dealing with things? Um, do you see what you have and what you can bring and your assistance as essential? Uh, those who are clerks at the shopping market or the supermarket or uh, Walmart, stocking shelves, whatever, you are now deemed essential. And I want you to know, especially as a believer, you are essential. Um, the thing that I want to focus on today is, and as you saw in the intro, uh, it, the, the song um, by Anthony Evans entitled uh, Because of Your Prayers, it's a tribute to his, his grandmother, but I don't have anything else, buddy. That's keys. You can't chew those. But... um. 
how essential prayers are. And we can look throughout the Bible. There's many stories about, good boy, there's many stories about how prayer has changed things. Um, first off, we look at, actually, it was, oh yes, in 2 Kings 19, when Israel is under attack, I believe it was by the Assyrians, um, but chapter 19, we see Hezekiah, King Hezekiah's prayers, and he cries out to God, asking for his help, and God does, and wipes out the army that is coming against uh, Israel. We see that again also in, was, was, it, was it Acts? Yes, Acts chapter 12, where uh, Peter, yes, was Peter was arrested for preaching the gospel, and he was in jail, and um, the body of believers were praying for him. And because of those prayers, God sent an angel and, you know, allowed Peter to be released by the miraculous power of the angel coming in and rescuing him. Um, and then we see even on the, the last few breaths of the sinner on the cross, prays to Jesus and says, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. And even at his last moment, that powerful prayer, that sinner's prayer, death on the cross, remember me, Father. Jesus, remember when you enter your kingdom. Saved his life. There's so many other stories of things I've heard about missionaries and how um, a group of people were going to rob them and kill them and things like that. And God had awakened people's hearts in the States to pray for them. And then come to find out these robbers ended up giving their life over to Christ and told the missionaries, how did you know we were coming? And how did you have all those people st standing guard? And it was actually angels sent from God, his protection because of the prayers, the essential prayers of his church and believers in the United States for the missionaries. So whatever you're going through, of course, you know, spend time in prayer for your situation, but also pray for others. Those prayers are essential for yourself and also for others. And we may not find out what our prayers have done until we get to the other side. But as we see throughout scripture, it is a vital part of our walk in this life that we can make it through physically and definitely spiritually. Um, a few scriptures that I do want to read is, and I was told to make my font bigger, but I can't on this particular thing. But James 5.16, I'm sure we all have heard this. If you haven't, you will now. Uh, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The ongoing prayer, the continued prayer, makes a difference. Um, next verse is Philippians 4, 6. I'm sure we've all heard this as well. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. He lets us know that um, because then it also says the peace that passes all understanding will, will cover, your, cover your heart because you know that God's got you and he's got the situation. Anything he, even the things that he allows is only going to be for your ultimate good, for all things work together for the good of those who believe and are called according to his purpose. So he does not lie. He cannot lie. So what he divinely inspired to be penned down in his holy word is truth. 
And we can rest assured that if he's telling us to pray, we can rest knowing that all things work together for good and his glory, no matter what it may be. But he's got us. Um, lastly, John 5, 15 through 16. And this is the confidence that we have toward him that asked uh, toward him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we will have the request that we have asked of him. Once again, knowing that it's in his will, that God's going to take care of it. And it is his, it, we are his children. It's his will that we, that only good come out of every situation. Think about it. Obviously, it's his will for us. If it was his will that no man will perish, but everybody comes to repentance. And God gave up his only begotten son, Jesus, coming down, dwelling among men, being persecuted, tasting of all the hardship we will ever have taste of, and laying down his life willingly for our good so that we can have eternal life with him. So just want to encourage you, first off, if you're in the grocery store checking people out, restocking shelves, thank you. Um, any of the other hundreds of jobs that have been overlooked, but you are now considered essential, thank you. Please continue and do everything as if you are doing it for God to the best of your ability. Um, if you're not an essential worker, appreciate those, but also know that as a believer, you are essential. Your prayers are essential. Use them as the Word of God says. Those effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous. So clean your heart before you speak with them. Try your best to be made righteous in His sight by the blood of His Son, Jesus. But I encourage you to continue praying for those you love, this world, your enemies, the word of God says, pray, pray for your enemies. Love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, all of that stuff. But pray for all your loved ones, pray for this world, and pray for your situations. And rest knowing that God has only good plan for you, and that all things in the end will work together for your good and his glory, for those who are called according to his purpose and that believe in him. As if you do believe in him, we are all called according to his purpose, and it is to share the good news. So hopefully you're doing that, but you've been so good, I need to take you for a walk, don't I, buddy? I got to go to work in a little bit. Come tell everybody goodbye, okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I love you. I want me to hug you. Okay, hug you. All right. Well, love you guys. Be safe. Wash your hands. Brush your teeth. All that stuff. Stay six feet away from people, unless they're your dog. Love them. But we will see you again next week on another Thursday's Thoughts. Love you guys. Keep us in prayer. We'll keep you all in ours. Bye.